Oh. Yo, why is everybody getting into this huge debate over Nico, uh, Nick Okava Avocado? I don't even know this guy very well, don't like him. He's a horrible, crazy YouTuber who's unstable in every aspect. What is life with him in it? It's like everybody was sitting here chewing each other's heads off about it. And it's not that serious. Like, I promise you, it's not that serious. Nick Okada, Nick Okada, whatever his name is, this avocado guy is not that serious. Now, we all sat here and agreed yesterday and last week that this guy is mentally unstable, emotionally unstable. He been through a whole lot of shit for this past two years with the social media. And he had this out pouring outcry video where he's sorry about what he said. But... Everybody's still looking at him in a certain way because of what he said to Stephanie Wu. Granted, he should apologize not only to Stephanie but to everybody that was in that video that took part in this mukbang situation. And we all came to an agreement that he was wrong about a lot of stuff. Now, his behavior. And how he's acting right now proves that he's not all together. Okay, all of his screws is loose. So, now that everybody is on board with this, they know about it. They agree that he is a mentally unstable kind of guy. There's no reason why people should be chewing each other's heads off. Because, let's face it, like, what, is, what are y'all getting out of this? I'm on YouTube and I'm looking at everybody chewing each other's heads off. Over what Nico Cardo Avocado was saying, whatever his name is, and a lot of people is trying to talk to him and get him on the right track, but he's seriously not taking it in there. As you can see, he's the type of guy that doesn't take advice very well in that mental department. So why keep trying to beat? Like beat it out of him. You're pretty much beating a dead horse. Okay, so instead of chewing each other's heads off about this Nick guy, y'all should be trying to um get your lives together. Understand that? Okay, y'all should be minding your business, do what y'all need to do. Okay, and we like I say at the end of the day, we all agree that. Nicocado Avocado is a mentally unstable person. Anybody who laughs and cries in their videos while eating a whole bunch of food is mentally unstable. Okay, I don't understand. I'm sure y'all don't understand. So why y'all beating each other over the head with that shit? I don't know. But this is something crazy. One, I'm already getting uncomfortable with seeing this mukbang, mukbang situation because everybody's trying to do it all over the world. And then everybody thought that shit was like one of the best things on the planet and it's not. It's, it's okay, let me tell y'all this shit. It's very dangerous to do this mukbang. Very. And then I saw one person actually commented below about it. And he was right. It's very dangerous because you're promoting unhealthy eating. And you're promoting that it's okay to over like feed yourself with the most unhealthiest shit ever. And you're crying about it. You're laughing and crying about it at the same time. Like that is unhealthy and that's dangerous. Don't you think so? It's like seriously, why do y'all doing this? that's not attractive and i'm looking at this shit every day and it's like who the hell is this guy where he came from i saw three of his videos and the reason why i was looking at all three of the videos was because one of them had stephanie Wu in it and that other asian guy and they was talking about you know their personal lives and talk about what they should talk about next. And I'm sitting here like, okay, what was the point of that video? What was the point of doing a mukbang 
and asking so many personal questions. And here's the thing, the personal questions was going towards Stephanie Wu. It wasn't going towards nobody else. He wasn't even thinking about nobody else. And this is why everybody was pissed off with him now because he was targeting Stephanie. He was laughing and crying about the situation. And then he all of a sudden just got serious and just started going ham on Stephanie while eating the most unhealthiest food. Now, at the end of the day, I don't want nobody preaching to anybody about doing anything that's unhealthy or being emotionally unstable when you see this Nick Ocado avocado guy doing the most dangerous thing ever. And he looked really stupid doing it. Now, he's sitting here putting himself on the highest pedestal in the freaking planet, thinking he's better than everybody, and he's not. And he looks really stupid on camera. Okay, quote me if you want, come at me if you want, but this is the truth. Everybody is fighting about it, arguing about this situation. He's over there chilling, but at the same time, he's making the most ridiculous videos, crying and laughing at the same time while eating McDonald's, Wendy's, and all this stuff. And it's like ridiculous. Don't y'all see that? This is getting really out of hand. So instead of people laughing about it or trying to, you know, judge him or even how you say trying to be his therapist and trying to give him advice, won't y'all steer him in the right direction to talk to a professional? Seriously. Because at the end of the day, it's like y'all sitting here, y'all promoting it, y'all amping him up, y'all giving him so much attention, so much love. And he's taking it as though people is seriously supporting him and that is okay and it's not okay. So do yourselves a favor. Talk to this guy. Get him to talk to a professional. Okay. And these YouTubers out here seriously need to stop doing this mukbang situation because let's face it, it's not working out for nobody. You it's like coming into the mukbang, you're looking, you know, right. If you coming out to the world as a hundred and fifty pound man, and that the and then you get so into this mukbang situation, you come in looking like a skinny one hundred fifty pound guy and coming out looking like a three hundred pound man, what does that tell you? Same thing with females. Females out here, y'all not even realizing that y'all y'all really messing up yourselves. For people who's very self-conscious, it's even worse. It's like you coming in, if you was coming into the world, small as fuck, whatever. We first met you on YouTube when you're like 90 pounds, 110 pounds. And then like two, three years later, you reached up to 180 pounds to 250 pounds. It's like, what the hell are you doing? That's how you know you need to stop doing those mud bangs. Seriously, it's even, like I said, it's even worse if you're body conscious because that, that's never good. Really. And some people don't even care. They be like, I'm doing it. I love food. I'm a foodie. It's okay to be a foodie and everything, but please, like, don't sit here and stuff yourself into. A, like it's a, a whole bunch of weight and then not expect people to say something don't expect people to not say nothing pretty much because this is exactly what they're going to do they're going to look at you they're going to question you they're going to judge you so this mug bay situation got to go Seriously.